Our today topic of discussion is atomic dipole moment. I have to cover some basic question related to the atomic dipole moment. Number one, that how one can atom is equivalent to a bar magnet, and how to explain susceptibility and other points related to the magnetic materials, G1 effect. And there are number of applications of the atomic dipole moment basically which we can explain any particular phenomena related to that. So the first point is I have considered here hydrogen atom in which there is one electron at the nucleus. The mass of the electron is m, velocity of this electron is v and this is the radial distance r. Electron is revolving anti-clockwise that can be comparable to a current loop. So the direction of the current is defined opposite to the direct velocity of this electron by this formula i is equal to minus dq upon dt. So we know and here's law and according to that the upper piece will behave like a south pole and obviously the second piece will be a north pole. So by this way one can imagine that one single atom is equivalent to the bar magnet. Now the next point is atomic dipole moment. Atomic dipole moment mu is equal to the I and A where I is the current which is flowing into this current loop. A is the area. So now I that is current is defined by Q upon T where Q is the charge of this electron and T is equal to pi R upon V that is the time period for this electron R is the radial distance as I told earlier and V is the velocity there is one more relation between V and omega through this R where omega is the angular velocity V is equal to R omega. So one can define this magnetic moment in terms of angular velocity also. But right now the current is minus EV upon 2 pi R. And second thing that is area. Area of this current loop, this is the center and this one is the radial distance which I defined earlier R. So the area of this current loop will be equal to pi r square and we know that area here magnetic moment mu is the vector quantity that's why i cannot be a, i cannot be a vector quantity but area can be a vector quantity and the direction of the area will be perpendicular to the plane right now i have considered this plane and area of this plane is equal to pi r square the direction of A will define through this unit vector M which is perpendicular to the plane. So vector A is equal to pi r square M, unit vector M that defines the direction of the area. So now mu is equal to I A by putting this value in this equation of I and this A. I is equal to minus E upon 2M minus E upon EV upon 2 pi R into this pi R square and this unit vector M. So pi cancel out one power O power cancel out through this. So I have this mu is equal to minus E V R upon 2 into unit vector N. And now multiply it both. Denominator and numerator by M to M and this is M. So this becomes mu is equal to minus m e v r unit vector m and this is 2 m 
we know that electron is revolving around this nucleus so that will have an orbital angular momentum the orbital angular momentum of this electron can be defined through this one l is equal to r cross p where p is equal to mv and further this is r this is v so the direction of orbital angular momentum will be perpendicular to this plane r cross p the direction of the l orbital angular momentum will be perpendicular to this plane if r is along the x axis p is along y direction l will be along the z direction this is a simple graph so we know that p is equal to m and v so l is equal to r p sin theta where theta is 90 degree so this becomes l is equal to r p and where p is equal to m v so l is equal to m v r simply so this term m v r and this unit vector n is basically define the vector l so now i have minus e upon 2m and this m v r unit vector n if i am writing suppose here unit vector n then it is vector l so vector l is equal to m v r and this unit vector n the direction of the orbital angular momentum will be perpendicular to the plane and that is the direction of the area which we have considered already so now this right hand side is equal to vector l so this mu which is a vector quantity mu is equal to minus e upon 2m and this vector l now i have i have this result and this result indicate that the orbital magnetic moment this magnetic dipole moment is the contribution of this orbital angular momentum it means that this is the contribution of orbital motion of this electron where direction of magnetic moment is opposite to the orbital angular momentum that define with the help of this negative sign so mu and l are in opposite direction so if l is outward mu will be in inward direction so this is our orbital magnetic moment and now further if i define this uh, orbital angular momentum quantum mechanically then l is equal to h bar square root l l plus 1 so putting this value of l here it becomes mu and i am noting it uh, with l is equal to minus e upon 2m h bar square root l l plus 1 so this minus e h cross upon 2m square root l l plus 1 this is mu l and this eh cross upon 2m is known as bohr magneton that is represented by mu b so mu b is equal to eh cross upon 2m where e is the charge of electron that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb h is planck constant that is h upon 2 pi h bar h is equal to h upon 2 pi where h is planck constant that is defined 6.64 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second and m is the mass of the electron so this is equal to 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg when we simplify it the value of bohr magneton comes 9.27 into 
into 10 raised power minus 24 joule per tesla or on the other hand we can write it in terms of 9.27 into 10 raised power minus 24 ampere meter square so this is the numerical value of the Bohr magnetron so here one can find out the orbital angular moment uh, orbital magnetic moment using this formula and this contributing because of the orbital motion of the electron and similarly one can find out the magnetic dipole moment using the spin angular momentum because we know that in addition to the orbital motion of the electron electron itself is spin on their axis like this way and that we know that uh, similarly spin angular momentum plays the role and then that time we define mu s mu s is uh, basically magnetic moment that is the contribution of spin angular momentum and mu l is contribution of the orbital motion so these are basic ideas related to the atomic dipole moment that uh, what is atomic dipole moment and how one can define that atomic dipole moment in terms of the some basic parameter that I have considered here current and area and further now when we put now we have some knowledge of atomic dipole moment uh, what is the role of atomic dipole moment when we keep uh, a specimen or any sample any material magnetic material in the present in a uniform magnetic field then what happens inside the atom so that uh, point basically we have to discuss right now I have explain the idea of magnetic dipole moment that is equal to the minus e upon 2 m this vector and this orbital angular momentum so I am writing this here mu l is equal to minus e upon 2 m and this orbital angular momentum in a vector 4 